What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. The Z31 Turbo is back for another episode, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so the Z31 Turbo is back for another episode and on this episode what we're going to be doing is working on the ducting for the coolant system. I have this sheet of aluminum here. We're going to be making some ducting and everything to channel that incoming air through the front up to the radiator so that we can maximize the airflow and take care of the little bit of the cooling issues that we're having currently with the vehicle. Now the problem that I'm having is cruising at speeds the air is not being directed through the radiator and it comes up in temperature above the middle mark and once I'm in stop and go traffic it starts coming back down in temperature so that tells me that the ducting for the radiator is inadequate and if you see down right here we have all this space down there that the, the air can escape so I got this sheet of aluminum thanks to my shop mate Eric he scored some sheets of aluminum and hooked me up so We'll, we'll be working on the ducting and then after we get the ducting done we're going to go ahead and install an electro fan switch i have this nice little billet piece right here this is a 200 degree switch so once it reaches 200 degrees fahrenheit the switch will engage and the fan will come on so i have right now it rigged up with the switch and i'm not a fan of it it was just a quick easy fix at the time so i'm going to be taking my time and doing it right and hopefully at the end of this episode, we won't have any coolant issues with this car. So that way I can drive it, enjoy it, and not worry about the temperatures. So what I got here is a rib nut tool kit that I picked up off of Amazon. And also this fan switch kit right here that I picked up off of eBay. And also a, re uh, relay, uh, a relay kit that works with the fan switch. And they gave me a schematic of how to set it all up. So that's the game plan. That's what we're gonna be tackling. So I gotta get a little crafty and come up with a way to make a, uh, I guess a, more or less a template for laying it out over the aluminum so that we can make our cuts. And I picked up this electric body saw that will allow me to cut this however I need it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this up higher on the lift and just look at what we got and how we're gonna go about tackling it. All right, so I got my fan on because it's very hot in here, so please excuse the background noise. But as you can see underneath here, we have all this area that the air can escape whenever I'm going down the highway. And as you can tell, I do have me an oil cooler mounted right behind the intercooler here. So the incoming air will come across this oil cooler and help aid in engine cooling. So we got to get this bottom piece, at least from here, this point here to this point here covered up so that the incoming air has no choice but to go through the front intercooler up through to where the radiator is at. So that's the game plan and it's best to work with cardboard in order to make a template because I'm going to have to know exactly where these nuts and everything are placed so that once I make my cuts on the aluminum, once I put it up and bolt it on, that it's going to have the space for these to clear the aluminum sheeting. That way I can take rib nuts and mount them to these beams here and allow me to bolt it in and make it a bolt on application. So that is the game plan. So let me do a couple of measurements, a couple of other things, and we'll come up with the game plan of how we're gonna tackle it.
right guys here's what i got so far i got the dimensions all cut out and i cut the edges off the sides right here for a better fit underneath and i drilled out some holes in the front and some slots in the back because if you see these tow hooks right here they get in the way that's why i have those slots cut out and if you see right here with me putting it up There is the bolt right there, which is gonna to mount to that point there. There's the bolt right there that's gonna to mount to that point. Slots are cut out to give me the room that I need. And it mates right up to the back of it right there. And then I'm gonna end up making some side brackets right here that are gonna bolt to the bottom plate. And if you see that little fitting up right there, that's probably where I'm gonna have the top of the side piece mount up to. And that way it'll fully encase the incoming air and direct it straight to the radiator up, the, up over there. So that's gonna work out pretty good. Now, now that I got this worked out, um, I'm gonna probably have to go back down to Home Depot and get some, some uh, either aluminum tubing or whatnot because I need to make some, some little standoffs that'll space the plate from these mounting bars on each side that'll space it and give me the the distance that I need to clear these nuts right here on each side and that will allow it to fit up right and proper so unless I can find something around the shop I'm gonna do a little bit of digging but if not I'm gonna have to go to Home Depot and grab that so get with you guys here in a minute all right guys so it's a new day by the time I got the materials I needed and everything with this COVID stuff going on it took longer than I expected so we're gonna pick up where I left off. I got the tubing in and it's a Home Depot special. And there it is. It's big enough to allow an eight millimeter bolt through. So we'll be cutting sections of this off to make the standoffs to give the bottom plate proper clearance for these nuts. And I already got the holes drilled out in the front here and here. So we're gonna be using these mounting points. And then I'm gonna drill a hole here and one right there. And we'll be using rib nuts and I'll use standoffs right there, and that will mount that bottom plate. Then after we get that in, we'll be working on making templates to cut out the material we need out of that so that we can make the side covers to totally encase the front air dam. So that is the plan. Let's go ahead and make some cuts and uh, start you know, tackling this thing. Alright guys, I'm very happy with the results. It came out very nice indeed. And nice clean four points of contact, bolting it up. So now I need to work on the side pieces to kind of not totally close it off, but just enough, I guess, to help route the air towards the radiator. So I'm gonna cut this 90 degree angle piece and mount one on each side. And then I'm gonna come up with a template cut it out and bolt it to the angle piece and just kind of bend it over to where it will cover up this big opening right here and help the air direct itself to where the radiator's at. And the same on that side right there. But very happy with the way it came out. Looks very good. So I'm gonna take some more measurements, make some cuts 
and see what we come up with. Alright guys, so I'm probably going to turn this into a two episode ordeal because it's taken me quite a while in order to make those side uh, covers for the air duct and basically if you see the front of it like this, that's the way I got it and this back tab right there is going to be bent that way and it's going to be like this to where it blocks off the incoming air right there. If you can see I have it in there and I'll bend that back tab like I did this one and kind of blocks that way right there. So I think at this point I'm gonna have to take the bumper cover off so I can perfect these bends and get it placed just right. And it also, you know, starts right here to where the air ducting goes a little bit beyond this point. So all the air coming in will be pushed towards the center, that way where the radiator's at. Pretty cool. I like it. I think it is a pretty cool little side cover so let me take this front bumper cover off and then we will uh, see about getting the side covers just right and then we'll move on Guys, I'm really digging the air ducting on this car. Now, it took me quite a while to figure out how to get the proper bends and make the side uh, ducting correct and uh, get it to look really nice and functional. And what I ended up doing was coming up with a relief cut right here and a slight bend outward to make room for this side uh, ducting that's on the factory bumper because it did interfere right here. So I took care of that. And also I had to do a relief cut right here in order to utilize the mount that's on the bumper shock. And also, you know, I still need to bend this side in a little bit more to make it match the other side, but no big deal. It's got a little bit more of a gap on this side than it does on that side, but nonetheless, it looks great. Now this is the first side I started with. And uh, once I figured out how to do it, uh, this side actually came out just a little bit cleaner, but all in all it's gonna work pretty well I mean, it's gonna grab that air and really force it up towards the radiator So that's the whole idea of it and you can see the stands the standoffs that I put down there There and there But I'm really stoked and I used rib nuts here on the bottom for these side brackets right there and there so and also I have fastened right there on that tab in the back so this thing is very secure and i'm really happy with the way it came out so i just want to point out that once that bumper cover is on the uh, intercooler looks a little cockeyed and as you can see my line right there is even on this bumper bar it's just the bumper bar has been hit right here and with the bumper cover on it makes it look a little cockeyed so before I put the bumper cover on, I'm going to space this side down a little bit just to get it to look even with the bumper cover on. But all in all, I'm very pleased with this results and I can't wait to see how it's going to go once I put the electro fan switch and everything in there. Hopefully everything will work out great at uh, highway speeds. It's going to direct that air where it needs to be. So I'm all done on this episode. This took me quite a long time in order to do way more involved than what I thought it would take or anticipated that I would take and uh, I just that's just how I am I'm kind of OCD about things and then once I 
started playing with bends and everything. It just started coming together and then it took shape. I by no means had this all planned out. I just kind of winged it on the ends and it worked out great. And it's also going to look pretty good from the front of it once I put the bumper cover on because the ducting is going to go right there in this little pocket and it's just going to look cool. So very happy about it. Very stoked with the results. So I'm all done on this episode guys. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Next episode, we'll finish this off, take it on a spin and see if everything I did was worth it. So like, comment, subscribe and share. See you guys on the next one.